Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a new bottle with an old, well, known whiskey, the Inchmurren, 12 years old. Ah, I thought about uh, saying Loch Lomond. No, no. Uh, the Inchmurren brand is produced inside the Loch Lomond distillery and the Loch Lomond distillery is situated in the very south of Loch Lomond uh, where all the uh, people from Glasgow go for a short vacation. I had been at the Loch Lomond uh, as well in 2013 and I took a plane flight, a water plane from Loch Lomond and you were able to see all those little islands in Loch Lomond. And here you see one of these islands and uh, this Loch Lomond is from the island collection it's called and it's non-chill filtered uncolored uh, and it's the Inchmurrent Island on Loch, in Loch Lomond. Um, the Loch Lomond distillery has four pot stills, two for the Loch Lomond whiskey and two for the Inchmurren and the Inchmurren uh, pot stills are different. They are very special because they have a huge pot and on top of it is a rectifier. It, they have floors, bottoms, uh, like in a, a column still where the alcoholic vapors rise and condense and drop through the holes of those uh, plates in between. And with this re-destillation, uh, the spirit, the resulting spirit is very smooth and clean. And, uh, well, I think there are five plates on every still. And the Loch Lomond stills themselves are very huge pear-shaped pot stills where all the uh, ingredients from the malt uh, and the fermentation process are driven over into the whiskey and the Loch Lomond is harsh, rush. And the Inchmurin whiskey is quite smooth, showing a very, very fruity character coming from the malt, the fermentation of the malt, uh, and the cleanness of the following distillation. And here are tasting notes on it. It is somewhat fitting that the grassy isle lends its name to this exquisite 12-year-old single malt with floral notes of peach blossom, pear, golden barley, and vanilla, aged in three types of casks collected by hand, bourbon, refill, and rechart. Yeah, I've seen that when I visited Loch Lomond Distillery. They had, or they have a machine where you put the old cask in and then you have a manual or automatic machinery arm with a, a brush, with a steel brush, uh, which you typically use to, to clean up stones at home in the garden from all the moss on your dirty machine. And you take that and uh, you scrap off, you grind off the inside of the cask where all the rest of the charcoal is uh, is fitted to the wall until it's more or less clean and then you toast the cask again and then you rechar the cask again and then you have a quite a fresh cask which gives a lot of aromas to the whiskey but it's that much of fresh aromas like in a bourbon cask uh, that you have to mix it up with other casks uh, that you do not get too much of well the fresh uh, oaky notes in those casks these whiskies are then brought together, delivering a perfectly balanced single malt, finished by our master distiller, Bill White. <clears throat> yeah, that's it. So there are 10 or 12 uh, islands in Loch Lomond. And I think uh, we will see uh, quite a few uh, more whiskies from the island collection. Um, it's 46% ABV, it's unchill filtered, and those refill, no, rechart casts bring a lot of fresh new color to the whiskey. So for a 12 year old, this is quite dark. It's fruity. It's already fruity on the nose. So this is not, this white uh, rectangle is not part of the, uh, of the box. Uh, it's a, 
standard white uh, clean plastic piece of plastic uh, with which I will like to show you in the real color of the whiskey in a better way. In former times when there was this uh, barley colored background then the color of the whiskey changed. It wasn't well it was moved to a to a more tanned uh, color and this white rectangle uh, should show the color of the whiskey better and if I optimize the distance to the back then the color will uh, shine through better. Yeah. Ah, fruity. Very, very fruity. And on top there are oranges and citrus. But not too sour. Uh, it's more the pears, the apples, red apples. It's a wonderful fruitiness. It's a, it's no, no compote. Uh, they would have been darker because cooked, oxidized. No, this is fresh uh, fruit salad, but lacking the ananas, the citrus. Uh, it's a little sweeter uh, fruit salad. But there's still some some citrus note in it. Yeah. Hmm. Ha! Oh. And then the oak cuts in, really cuts. Spiciness, intensity. Well, it's 46% ABV and really gives a hit on your tongue and some well the caramel comes with a taste and yeah some vanilla rising yeah finds again in the nose and there's some peppery left so it's no uh, no bitterness from the oak but it's a distinctive spiciness there's no ginger not that intense but it's a, a more peppery spiciness but it fades already and yeah those casts definitely shine through you can't take <laughs> too many of them and I had this 12 year old I think four three four years ago uh, with the old uh, metal tube uh, before the um, distillery was sold to a uh, to financing corporation and the financing corporation changed uh, the appearance of the bottle so no longer a metal tube a, a tin a tin tube but a normal cheaper card box and they reduced the price so it's in the mid 30s for a 12 year old with 46 percent ABV uncolored and with this extremely uh, excellent distilling uh, rectifier on top of the pot still it's really something special yeah thank you for watching stay tuned there's more to come and ah I forgot uh, the Loch Lomond distillery produces the Loch Lomond and the Inchmurin and it's together in one company with the Glen Scotia distillery and they changed the appearance of their range as well. I think they have the same bottle for the Glen Scotia with 12 years old, 15 years old, 15 I think. Yeah, so it's from one company and I think they increased quality and they became better. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned.